and it just don't stop. Come with it. I leave the microphone intrigued with my practice. This rubble sticks the system like a cactus. A voice satins. Who knows what is concealed under the mattress? Lucas losses and Grindel's all lines of blackness. Then I act this way, the beast unleashed. Rabbis, monks, and priests always pray for peace, but it's the before we get on to this video, if you like what you see, make sure you support me on Patreon. Everything is very much appreciated. And also, if you want to request things for me to react to, movies, albums, you know, songs, uh, definitely make sure you check me out on Streamlabs. Both of those links are in the description. And with that being said, much love, stay safe, and peace out. What's up guys, I'm checking out more Harry Belafonte. This one's titled Day O, the Banana Boat Song, live in uh, Japan in 1960. Uh, requested by Nichelle Taylor on Streamlabs, big shout out to you. Haven't heard this one before, I uh, know I've seen this performance, but uh, yeah, that being said, let's go ahead and check it out. It's been real interesting as well, I might add, watching um, you know these music videos or songs rather, uh, from Harry Belafonte because before this I didn't know that he was you know a, a singer <clears throat> I just known him uh, from being an actor and you know the things he had done that I seen him in uh, it was that one movie I forget the name of it it was some baseball movie and it had um, what's his name what's his name the comedian it had him in it <laughs> Jeez, man, I'm gonna get so much slack for not knowing his name. Uh, but yeah, he was like playing like a godfather type of a role. And I remember him like eating an egg or something, raw, a raw egg. And I don't know. But yeah, I just remember how menacing he was in that. And that's like the only thing I knew him from, really. But um, yeah, it's real cool just to, you know, explore this side of him. But yeah, let's continue. <clears throat> hey! Okay, sorry to pause so early, but is that where that, like, band phrase come from? Because, like, at my school, I remember, uh, like, whenever they did, like, marching band stuff, right? This was one of the, like, common phrases they would say, like, right before, like, they started. Interesting, I wonder. Last time pause and I promise, I hope. This song is very iconic. That six and seven and eight and brunch or bunch or whatever, that I recognize that. I'm not sure where from though, but I 100% recognize that. I'm not sure from where though, but it, yeah, that part right there is pretty iconic. I know that much. Daylight come 
Interesting. This is like this is a second uh, Jamaican style song I've heard from him. Um, very curious, actually, what his background is, because I don't know. May, maybe he was just doing those songs, you know, just for you know the fun of it. I don't know. But real quick, I need to do some research on Harry Belafonte because I have yet to do that. Um, but yeah, I, I know he's an, he's a legend. You know, I definitely enjoyed listening to the song, and you know whether or not I. I definitely liked it, but it, I probably it probably wouldn't be something I would play like like that. And that's not coming from a place of like me being disrespectful or anything. Uh, I don't want people to you know think that is you know I have a lot of respect for every artist I listen to you know because they made it and you know they evidently paved the way for a lot of the artists that you know I listen to nowadays, whether I like it or not. So I mean it's kind of you have to have respect for these guys and. Um, yeah, I definitely have the utmost respect for Harry Belafonte. Uh, maybe I'll re-listen to it, you know, or listen to it here and there, or whatever. I don't know. It, it, I just don't see it being, like, something I would, like, you know, oh, yeah, okay, now I'm about to listen to the Harry Belafonte song, Deo, you know what I'm saying? No. But, I mean, that's just me being honest. And But it's not, like, coming from a place of uh, disrespect or... You know, uh, I don't like his music, so no. But uh, I do have a lot of respect for uh, this guy, for Harry Belafonte, uh, and just all of the you know OGs that paved the way in general. But uh, real quick, let's see. Uh, March first, nineteen twenty-seven, singer, songwriter, activist, art, or <laughs> singer, singer, songwriter, activist, actor. Uh, most successful Jamaican American. Yep, there it is. Okay, makes sense. Jamaican American pop star. He was born in New York, though. So I'm guessing maybe he had like a Jamaican mom and American dad or something like that. Or maybe he was raised somewhere in Jamaica. Oh, this is one of his uh, better known songs as well. Deo. I swear I've heard this. Like they, they say this in bands, pretty sure. I don't know. I thought they did. I, I'm pretty sure they do. But, um, hey, that was still pretty cool. Really enjoyed uh, watching that. And uh, the song itself is actually not too bad. You know, it, I'm not going to go into that again. But I enjoyed the song. <laughs> and if you guys enjoyed the reaction, make sure you smack the like button. Subscribe if you're new. That being said, much love. Stay safe. And peace out.